Alright, so today we gonna stitch this Bruin. Um, his name is Charlie. Charlie the Bruin. He got a few techniques um, include in here the sardine stitch, um, back stitch, and also the French knot with two different size, um, the cyan and the embroidery thread here. This is the kit um, where you will get um, what included inside. So you get the instructions um, and the step how to stitch. In pictures and also how to finish the frame as well. And in the bag, this is the bag you get all the thread and the needles in here. Two size needles, um, the large and the small one, or the colors that we need for this pattern you got my contact details on my business card you can contact me and finally um, the pattern um, this is calico cotton and it is the 15 centimeters wooden hook that I use Okay, first uh, we're gonna stretch the calico a bit. So what you do is just adjust the screw on the top and just pull on the side. So this is up to you if you like to work on the very tight or a bit loose to be able to maneuver your needles. So for me, I like it quite tight. Very tight there. Now to start, um, you can start whenever you like, or you just follow me on the pictures that I provided or these videos. So for me, I will start with the blue. So just slightly pull the thread. the whole thread on the bigger size of needle just thread the whole thing through and you just knot at the end okay we start on the tail and this is the sardine stitch in the angle. A couple stitch. Like that. And 25 the good position. Um, you can push the needle to the next stitch like that. So just make it a little bit quicker.
lovely so now out of both are done um next we're gonna work on the black okay so we got the back track just on the top here Okay, so after I finished that brow color day, I realized that I forgot to complete the black one here. So that what happened, um, because I paused the video and I went to make my coffee and come back and I forgot. So, start again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna do the black one here to finish it off. Okay, so the brush is nearly finished. Start forming. Um, the next is are uh, gonna work on the branch here. This is a prickly moss branch. Um, wattle. Sorry, prickly moss wattle branch. So the reason that we're gonna skip from the bird to the branch first is because um, after we finish the branch, the leg will sitting 
on the branch so it's a bit of the 3d um, feature there okay now we're gonna work on the smaller needle so smaller needle you need to spread the thread this six strand thread here you can see six of them so we're gonna pull one out at a time like that we need two of them so if you do one at a time it won't tangle just slightly through as you see there and that is the double thread and this one is the back stitch about two millimeters apart from each stitch back in and go to the next one Okay, so that one is done. Next is the brow thread. So the same thing. We're gonna spread the thread. One at a time. Now what we're going to work on is the leg here, from here down to here. So start with the satin stitch on the leg. And then we'll follow by the back stitch. So we got the leg sitting on the Pickly Moss Water branch there. The next thing is we're gonna blend this thread here. Um, so with your small needle, do the same thing with the double thread of the creamy colors. And we will stitch it randomly in between the bits. Dishes. Try to light that. Just make it a little bit smoother and um, the 3D is looking like uh, the feathers. So uh, you can see it. There, the difference between that and
okay so but and branch done neck is very fine uh, let me zoom in a bit is the eye that we're gonna work on here so on your instruction um you get um the step by step how to stitch the eye uh, so you can follow that and i'll show you how to here as well so firstly is the gray thread again double thread give you few the eye with the satin stitch The rest of the black we just work on the beak here. nearly done um the next we're gonna work on is the um the water flowers so you see there's two sides of the dot here um the big one are the yarn and the small is the um, embroidery thread so this is called french knot so you just back to your bigger needle the whole thing through like that and not at the end now with the French knot it will need the room behind um, 
the hook to work on so what I do let me show you I move to the end of my decks or the cables and then I have the blue text stick it on in there and the screw just stuck it on there the other end would be with my tummy so it's locked securely okay and how we're going to do is thread it through twist it around the needle twice and put it down and pull it zoom in a bit It is the big bubble of the yarn. So what we do, uh, we can double thread this one. Like that. And then just do the same thing. So you get a big Okay, so that's the whole process of how to stitch Charlie the Wren. The back, the front. So hope it make it easier for you to follow um, the instruction um, with the, all the equipment I provided in the embroidery kit. And if you have any pictures of your finished one, I would love to see. Um, send me to my Instagram or email. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.